Welcome to Online Tutorial 6. Gotta say, overall, very impressed with the quality of the work that you guys have done for the entrepreneurs. I really, really was just super pleased watching through all those videos. I apologize for how long it took me to um, view them and degrade them. Uh, it took me a little bit longer than I thought. If you haven't received a video, uh, an email from me with the attachment of your group's uh, rubric sheet, please do contact me. Um, because it, it means that I've ever missed you in giving feedback to the group or maybe you're not in a group and you haven't given me the strategy. I don't think there's too many people in that situation, but do tell me. Okay, so where to from now, okay? Uh, I'll attach a couple of videos uh, with the communications that um, bring you this online tutorial. Have a look at the videos that I really liked, okay? Have a look at the ones I really liked. And it's not the strategy that I thought, wow, that's a great strategy, because there's a lot of great strategies, okay? It's how that they use the elements of the environmental interaction framework to communicate the compelling nature of the strategy, okay? So for a lot of people who got, you know, three and a half to four, um, or even a bit less than three and a half out of five for their video, it's typically because maybe you told me it's about some energy, some cognitive legitimacy, right? But where were the co-actions? Where was the value shop? Where was the value um, chain? Where was variation selection and retention? I think there's only one group across the entire class who talked to me about variation selection and retention, okay? So there's a lot of elements in the framework and I'm looking for you to be able to succinctly draw those things in to explain to me and the entrepreneur why your strategy is so compelling. So check out the two videos that I'm sort of saying, hey, look at these ones. They really impressed me in terms of how they could combine engagement, strategy, and evidence that was compelling by using those elements of the environmental framework. If you're unsure, just come back and have a chat to me, okay? Um, in terms of what you're going to be doing, I'm looking for you to show me the revised process. So it means you don't have to do the entire page exactly as it is. If you haven't revised some of your assumptions, drop them off. It's the ones you've revised that I want you to tell me about. Why? What did you revise and why? Okay, that's what I want you to tell me. Okay, so it's the feedback that you've got from the entrepreneurs. Maybe I something I've said in the feedback, but also your own looking at the other videos in your group for your entrepreneur. Is there something there that's really taken your? Um, taking your fancy in terms of thinking, wow, everyone seems to like this, you know, is that simple to what we're doing? Are they executed something similar to us, but in a better way? Okay, so you work through it. If you're unsure, come back uh, and have a chat to me. But very impressed with what you've done so far. Can't wait to actually see what you guys come up with for uh, part B. Where I'm getting even more impressed is your personal learning statements for the second one. Really some just amazing work there guys. Really, really some fantastic works. And and the one commonality for the fantastic work is that people have actually given me seven paragraphs. They've got the seven questions and they've just worked their way through. What have they learnt? What are their values in relation to that? How have their values been challenged or not? And so on. Life experiences, uh, interactions with other information sources, and then the kicker. The one that makes all the difference in terms of getting 15 out of 15, when I think about myself as a learner, this is what I think it means to me to be in this reflection space, okay? So not just a description of yourself as a learner, oh, I tend to like to learn this way or that way. What does it mean? That's what I'm looking for. That's the breakthrough in terms of your learning from the unit is you being able to actually make sense. And I'm seeing that more and more, all right? And I'd like to see even more of you actually be able to get those 15 out of 15, all right? I'm just assessing the process, guys. I'm not making judgments about whether I <clears throat> believe what you say or like what you say. It's irrelevant. It's the process, all right? And I can see it working for so many of you. Keep it up. I can't wait to read your personal learning statement number three at the end of the, at, once we've uh, completed the last workshop. Speaking of the last workshop, Get along, all right? I know we had a drop off in numbers and I, and I appreciate that people have to work uh, and also thing. We're gonna have fun in the last workshop, but more importantly, 
everything's going to come together. There's stuff that I've held back from you, right, that you could easily have put in there in the first week, right, and sort of said, here's something really important you're going to learn, all right? So there's, there's stuff that I want to give to you after the event, all right? It, I'm deliberately doing it this way because I don't want it to confuse you. I don't want it to get in the way. I want to overlay it over all the experiences that you've had and so I'm hoping that you guys will be along for that workshop so that we've got a nice group of people that we can actually work this through and actually see if we can make sense on the day of some of the things that have happened during the semester and what it actually means for you in terms of your entrepreneurial self, in terms of your entrepreneurial thinking, in terms of your entrepreneurial future, okay? So I'm really excited by what you're doing. Keep doing it. Super excited by the fact that what I'm seeing in the groups overall is that you're taking the time to understand each other, that you're stepping back, that you're stepping forward, that you're being aware of each other's differences and you're finding a way to work together. And I think that's fantastic. So many of the personal learning statements have said to me, this has been a different group experience for me and I've really enjoyed it more than the past. And that's music to my ears, all right? It's just fantastic when that can actually happen. And that's a credit to you because I can't do that for you. That's only something that you guys can do collectively, okay? Any problems, any queries, just email me. Just contact me <clears throat> and get me on Facebook as well and ask me for whatever advice or, or you want. Back yourself. Back yourself. As we said in workshop two, if there's something you're not 100% about in terms of your video and you're thinking, we're just treading water here, we haven't really impressed them, go for it. If All you need to do, look, think about the... Um, Think about the assessment process here. Read the rubric. Look where I'm giving the marks. If whatever you do, even if it's a dog of an idea, even if it just, the, your entrepreneur says, nah, that's no good for us. If you've explained your logic, and there's, there is a logic to it, and you've used the environmental interaction framework elements, uh, and you've shown me where the energy is, why not just trust yourself? Trust the process, okay? Anyway, any queries, any issues, just send them through to me. I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Cheerio.